Hey guys, so we have a sink a little different today. Um, I thought, as a newbie painter, I would do a little rookie painting tutorial on how I do some stuff to help uh, anyone who's interested in trying to start painting or whatnot. Because for someone like me, who is a rookie when it comes to painting, um, everything just seems so advanced. So I'm going to show you some little basic things that I do, and hopefully if it works for you, you can try it. Um, now, I have a custom Vitas here that I've made using Torion parts and Vitas. Um, and I really need a shield for it, which is what I got here. This is from Dust Till Dawn. You see there's a few little uh, imprints on it. But I really need a shield for this character, and I want to sort of try and paint match this. So, to do so, we are going to try and make it look chromium. Um, so, I have sprayed this with Citadel Chaos Black Primer. Usually my go-to primer, Citadel stuff I find works just the best for me. Um, and we are going to try and do something that I saw the o the artist Opus try. So before we go any further, these are the paints I'm using. We have Kylos Colour Black, which I think is probably my favourite black paint. I have Retributor Gold from Citadel Colour, it's a base paint. I have Auric Armour Gold, which is a layer paint from Citadel. Moving to our silvers, we have Iron Hand Steel. We've got the lighter steel, which is Stormhost Silver. And model colour, Copper, from Vallejo, which will hopefully come in handy. Now, you might be wondering why we've got gold, silvers, and copper. And the answer is pretty simple. Uh, you can see my little palette sheet here. We're actually going to try something I saw in the Artist Opus, which is dry brushing this stuff. So, I just tilt the camera this way a little bit. You can see I attempted this the other day with Sank, and this is the result I got. I got this lovely sort of chromium purple shield for one of my custom figures I'm making, which looks awesome in my opinion. So, to do this, you want to give all your paints a little shake. We're going to go with black. Just a little bit. I need to grab my water. Okay, I have my water. Sort of need that. <laughs> right. We need some gold. So we're going to get the Retributor Gold. Give it a shake. And we're going to put some on the palette just above. Just like that. We're going to need quite a bit. Well, let me phrase that. I'm going to need quite a bit. Um, because as a rookie, and I'll show you this when we get to it, I have ruined my dry brush. And a lot of my brushes, actually. So if there's one tip I can give any people aspiring to start painting, look after your brushes. <laughs> because I haven't until it's too late. And now I need to replace all of them, basically. Absolutely all of them. Which is why I'm not being very delicate with this brush and just getting paint up the stem. Rinse this one off. Right. We just need to do the silvers. So our iron hands. And yeah, this is actually a really simple technique that I've been using. Um, and I think works amazingly well. So I would recommend everyone give it a try, to be honest. Um, Especially as a newbie, it's a very simple thing that if I can do it, anyone can. Obviously, there are so many more advanced people out there who can do stuff. Um, so yeah, having something really simple that can give you what you want. Love it. Absolutely love it. Okay, that is all rinsed stuff. So, so this is what I was talking about with my... Uh, get to focus paintbrush I have paint all the way down the stem that the entire thing is mostly solid so it's only a few little bristles at the top are still up all this is completely dried paint and I can't figure out how to clean it <laughs> which is very annoying now we have our shield as I keep knocking my camera let's just stabilize it there we go now to do this we're gonna dab it in the gold and this is literally just dry brushing dab it in the black wipe as much of as possible Get some more gold. 
and we are just going to very heavily dry brush all over this as such. We just want to cover as much as possible in a bit of a light gold colour. And you want to do this all over until you get a nice result. Okay, so as you can see, there's a slight gold sort of tint to it, but it's mainly still black, which is what we were looking for. Next, we're going to go heavier on the Retributor Gold and just Retributor Gold. Wipe it off. And then the same thing, going to dry brush it all over. And you should see it starts to become a little bit lighter. Okay, so that is what it looks like after one layer of gold. Now, as a rookie painter, I'd actually be quite happy if I did that. I'm not going to lie, I would probably use that. If saying it's a nice, like, gold chromium sort of like wear and tear one. But next, what we're going to do is we are going to mix up some silver and some gold just to keep building that colour. Um, and again, I am no expert, absolutely no expert at all, but going to take a little bit of silver, a little bit of gold, so knock my paint over, wipe as much off, and we're just going to go over the whole shield once again. So, okay, so we've done that, you can see there's now a bit of a silver tint to it in places. Again, we're going to go straight in with the Iron Hand Silver all over, so pure Iron Hand Silver now. And again, you'll see we've still got some of that gold coming through, but there's a lot more dark silver to it now. So, now we're going to go with the uh, Stormhost Silver, and again, dry brush this all over. And you'll see the silver is now much brighter. So from here, what I would do is take some of the Auric Gold, some of the silver, wipe it off so you've got a nice blend in the brushes, and then put this all over. Really bring back some of that gold. And then we've got this. So you can see the black undertone still underneath, but you have got that nice shine to it now. So. Okay, so now it's time to apply the copper to our shield. So if I leave that there, we're going to pop this down here in the middle. In fact, no, I won't. We'll bring it more up so you can see it. That is our copper colour. Now, we want to keep the shine, or at least I do, for this. So our secret weapon here, Lamium Medium. Now, make sure you're using a clean brush for this, because this is basically clear paint. Um, that is Lamium Medium on the brush. See how the brush is wet? That's because of the medium. Put it next to it. I would do two dabs, maybe three, because I put a bit too much on. And then we're going to blend this into the copper, and you'll see what happens. It almost becomes like a wash, in a way. See that nice and thin. Get our tissue here to test it. See that nice thin colour. And we are literally going to paint this all over the shield. I am going to use a bigger brush though. Going to use our dry brush just because of the coverage. Get it on your bristles. And we are going to go all over. So, let's set my camera up properly, because it keeps sliding. Here we go. Okay. And then, yeah, we're just going to paint it all over. Like such. Okay. Now, this has had one layer over the top. Um, I do have to make some more of the Lamy medium combination, but you see how the colour's very faint. Sort of what we're looking for. We just want that nice copper colour. Um, and it's dry still, so we're going to let it dry for a little bit. Okay, so the shield is kind of dried, it's still a little bit wet, which is fine. Now, I've added a tiny drop of Flesh Terror's Contrast Red to this. The reason being is this, as I just clean my brush off. If you look at the colour of Vetus compared to the shield, Vetus is slightly a little bit redder. Um, so, so we're going to do a very quick layer of this new combination. I've put a little tiny bit of, I put literally just one drop of Flesh Tears Red in this, and we're just going to go over the whole shield quick, okay? As such, like this. So, this is the look after one layer of that. I think we're going to put another layer over the top. 
just to give it a bit more of that red colour. So, and on we go. Okay, so this is the dried finished product, which I'm actually really, really happy with. Um, and honestly, I am kind of tempted to stop here. It's got that nice shine to it, nice copper colour. But I think we are going to mix it up a little bit and get some of the silver, get a little bit of the copper, and we're going to dry brush that just over the highlights. So get your tissue, wipe it off. But we want to do this very lightly because I don't want to cover up the copper underneath. All these little highlight ridges, we're just going to very lightly go over. Like barely touching it, just to give it some depth. Okay, so it's not really showing very well on camera, but this is what I've done. Uh, we dry brushed a combination of the Stormheart Silver, no, sorry, the, yes, Stormheart Silver and the Vallejo Copper, just on the raised bits, just so if you can see it catches the light comes through, but it's still got that copper colour underneath. Um, and I am actually going to leave this here. Um, I am actually very pleased with this. It's going to look awesome on the figure. I hope someone, anyone, gets some use out of this and they enjoy the video. Um, if you haven't tried customising or you've got some 3D pieces that you're worried about starting, give it a go. Try this, see how you feel. Um, this is one of my go-to painting things now because I just find it so useful and it looks really nice. Um, if anyone who's a more of a pro at painting than me, which would probably be a lot of people, has any suggestions on how to take this to the next level, please let me know in the comments. And yeah, hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next one. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.